even after coming down here uh, for Kelly Massive and uh, trying to see what can be done uh, to get an investigation open back then, <coughs> there's been yet another death. What can we do to change things? What can we do uh, to make things uh, more accessible medical-wise within the prisons or uh, jail system? Um, I heard so much being said earlier about uh, MHMR doing things to help the children, but I didn't hear anything about uh, the inmate services, and I'm just wondering why, because even though you're an adult and you do have some access to things, these people once again have MHMR issues, and they may not uh, be comprehensive or capable of doing these things on their own. They still need <coughs> management and assistance. Um, is there anything that will be done to provide them with better assistance so that they don't have a chance at life even after going through the jail system? Again, because this is not on the agenda, we can't respond at this point in time. Um, I would just say all deaths in the jail are investigated. And that, that happens every time there's a death in the jail. Okay. Um, I have yet another issue because I was just trying to figure out like, um, why a young lady uh, was able to have a jail, uh, a baby in her cell within the jail. Uh, it seems like they didn't even screen her properly. Uh, to even be in a cell by herself, pregnant, uh, it, it's just appalling. It's appalling. I, I would really, really like for you guys to implement some type of services where they can have better screening before entering the jail, not just uh, send them in there. That's pretty much what I have to say. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Next is Juan uh, Cossi. Judge Whitley, and commissioners, uh, members of the public servant staff, the taxpayers and citizens, it is never wrong to stand up for some civil rights. It is never wrong call out injustice. It is never wrong to make a practical point on behalf of a grieving family. It is never wrong to stand in front of you and exercise our free speech and free press rights. It is never wrong to show the family of a person who was wrongfully killed in the Tarrant County Jail how to find their voice and speak truth to power. It is never wrong to point out over and over and over again to you, to you individually, that the sheriff's deputies, many, many of them, starting with a deputy named J.D. Thomas, who is under investigation for the amount of times that he put his hands on me, on Mr. Motto, on Mr. Miller, on the mayor of Hazlitt, and on a number of other people Three or four hundred witnesses witnessed the event of the Tarrant Appraisal District. <clears throat> Here's part of the point. You saw it yourself two hours ago. Those deputies put their hands on Mr. Mata and tried to take his camera down. If this is what the Sheriff's Department and the deputies of Tarrant County will do right in front of us with the presumed authority that they do not have, <coughs> law enforcement is supposed to enforce laws. That means that until a free moving citizen of the United States has committed a criminal offense that they've observed, they have no right to put their hands on him. That's just a basic fact in the constitutional government that we have. The man that died in the jail, Mr. Wormley, deserved due process. Instead, he got screw process. There was a combination of both neglect and now finger pointing 
Once again, lack of supervision, lack of adequately trained staff. To keep it so simple that the six deputies that were out the door for a few minutes and none of them knew about 551.023 for public meetings, none of them knew that they were exercising a civil rights violation under the color of law. I mean, we have a real problem here, and I don't think you get it. This is not just happening in the jail in the blind spot where the cameras don't catch it. This is not happening in the middle of the night when the medical checks aren't being done right. This is happening right here in a public meeting in front of everybody that's still in this room. So no, sir, I am not wrong. You were on the particular issue I talked to you about. Oh, thank you for your signal. That's all we have this time. All we have, we will recess our open meeting and proceed to close to discuss items exempted under section 551.071, 072, 074, 076, and 0870, Texas.